Absolutely. And ladies, right now we know that there's still so many people who have to think about hurricane season and they have Ida blue roofs and they're still in Ida trailers and the parish acknowledged that and they said they're looking at ways to strap these trailers down, but they said these people should have an evacuation plan. Now, before we get to some more tips, I want to take you to a hurricane resistant house, one of the few around here. Kathy Anderson loves caring for her roses and garden. Her home is off of St. Bernard Avenue, but she remembers coming back from Katrina evacuation to a home that was nearly washed away. And we got eight feet of water back here, so there was nothing left to rebuild. Instead of leaving or spending all her time on her own house and her losses, she spent two years as a volunteer rebuilding other people's homes with Catholic charities. My mother was in Memphis. She was dying from cancer. She said, I'm going to ask you on my dying bed, go back home and help rebuild your city. If the water was getting higher. In return, she was picked as one of the two people to get a hurricane-resistant home built by LSU Ag Center and Building Science Corporation with the Department of Energy Building America program. Her house is on pilings that rise and fall in water, so it won't crack or float away. There's specially treated hardy board siding that won't break apart and resist moisture. So there's another benefit. This is a termite free house. Wow. Termites will come here and be very disappointed. The windows won't break. She tried with a hammer and that means also no need for burglar bars. There's a curved roof so she doesn't need gutters either. And of course, the air conditioning is raised on a platform that is water resistant. Inside the sheetrock is paperless. It resists moisture and it has a hard foam rubber behind it. The floors are bamboo, so they won't warp. The Green Dream House also keeps her heating and cooling costs down. And all this is volunteer work. We just been a dime for this. During Ida, Kathy didn't have the usual pre-hurricane anxiety. Felt good to know that first water, I wasn't worried about that. Now, with hurricane season less than a month away and thousands still living in homes not fixed from Ida, JP emergency half, team yeah, sure, and leaders gathered today to urge March. all of us to start getting ready now. That we have to come to the realization the probability that we're going to get hit has increased also with those, with those threats. On top of that, the intensity of these storms are increasing. Now, the parish also talked about the fact that we lost people because of carbon monoxide poisoning. They say if you have a generator, whether it's one that sits outside or, or a home generator that's locked into your home, they say you have to get a carbon monoxide detector. Trees falling take out power lines and kill people and damage homes. If there's one on the parish right of way, parish property that you see that doesn't look well, may have termites inside, call Parkways and they'll come assess it. And finally, we know what happened with the nursing home situation last year. They are in constant contact with people who run these nursing homes and senior apartments and those people, it's looking like they'll go to shelters. But they say if you have special needs where you can't evacuate on their own, they say please call the parish and register now so you'll get the help you need. Reporting live from the Mississippi River, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Back to you.